trailer safety is important and our horses are counting on us to get it right. One common item that I see overlooked on trailers is our trailer safety chains. These things. So are these just a pain in the rear or perhaps a better question is, how can we make these trailer safety chains more effective? Hi, I'm Robert from Trailmeister. And when I'm not on the trail or in camp, I'm helping outdoors people from around the world gain the skills and the confidence to realize their dreams of trail riding and horse camping. Before we get too much further, please click on those like, share, and subscribe buttons, as well as please use those Amazon links to help us keep creating content for you. And last, but certainly not least, many thanks to B&W Trailer Hitches for helping us create this video. It seems pretty reasonable that you wouldn't want your trailer and your truck from separating when you're towing. So the redundant connection that these chains offer, well, that's a good thing. But the way I see it, there's two main components and some best practices to this. First, the laws that require safety chains, and then the best practices for how to use them and make them more effective. After doing a fair bit of research, I found that every state does require some type of redundant connection between the trailer and the truck. Some states mandate chains like this, others say cables are okay. So while every state needs those connections, the details vary. Some states even go as far as to say how you have to cross the chains. So it's well worth doing a little bit of research on your end to see what your state requires so you can stay in better compliance. And now on to the practical side of chains. Towing adds a lot of responsibility to your driving and making sure that everything is safely connected, that's a really big part of it. I used to think that these trailer safety chains were only there in case my hitch were to fail. That is completely wrong. This hitch, it's not gonna fail. Rather, a better way of looking at these safety chains is that they're there in case I fail, in case I make a mistake. For example, what if I forgot to pin my hitch in? Or what if I forgot to properly seat my trailer hitch ball? Any of these things can and do happen, and I've got to admit, I've made these mistakes before. These safety chains help keep me from hurting me and my horses. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that the safety chains are the right classification according to the gross vehicle weight rating or GVWR for your trailer. That determines how strong these chains need to be. And it's not only the chains that need to be a certain strength, it's also the hook. All parts of this assembly need to meet or exceed the GVWR, the gross vehicle weight rating of your trailer. You don't want this to be the weak link. And while we're talking about hooks, I like these hooks with the snappy safety catch on them. If your hook doesn't have a safety catch, it can bounce in and out and off of your, your hitch. And that would be a bad thing. In order to work properly, the safety chains on your trailer, they need to be as short as you can make them, within reason. This chain is entirely too long. Heck, it's almost hitting the ground. So this chain is not gonna help me in keeping this safe and controlled if something were to happen. Now you might think that if your chain is too long, and we've all seen it, that you can just twist it a few times and it's gonna be better. That is wrong and dangerous. When you twist chains, you dramatically, dramatically decrease their strength because they're not pulling. It's some kind of physics thing. Twisting chains is wrong. So if your chains are too long, take the time to make them shorter the right way. So to make a chain shorter, fix it, <laughs> fix it properly. I'm going to take this cotter key and this pin out and move this hook down a couple. Another way to do it is to go to the end where your trailer attaches and shorten up that, the chain on that end. 
your trailer safety change should be as short as practical. To measure, I like to park my truck and my trailer in an almost jackknife position and then measure diagonally across for the chains. I like my chains to be between six and eight inches off the ground. They don't certainly don't need to be tight. In general, shorter is better. On to crossing the safety chains. We've all heard that you're supposed to cross them. Some states it's even a law, but why? There's a couple different good reasons to do so. First, if you cross the chains, it helps with turning, especially if your connection points are wide. Secondly, and we may have all heard it, is that if this ball were to come off the hitch, a crossed chain can provide a cradle of sorts to keep this hitch from dragging along the road and causing even worse problems. And trust me, if you were to need your safety chains, you have enough going on without grinding this off. Trailer safety chains are for the accident that we hope and pray never happens. Treat them as if your life and your animal's life depends on them. And that was a Trailmeister trailer tip. For more practical information on trail riding and camping with livestock, as well as the world's largest guide to horse trails, give us a visit at trailmeister.com. Don't forget to click on those like, share, and subscribe buttons. Use those Amazon links to help us creating content for you. And now I have a safety chain to shorten. Until next time, happy trails.